Hello everyone, welcome back to Technocrat NJ and I'm Namya here with another video for all of you. Today, I'm going to teach you something new and different. So first, let me introduce it to you. There are some children who find it difficult to learn the concept from the book. So today, I have brought a video to show you that how you can summarize the chapter easily. Let me tell you that what is a summary first. It is a shorter version of some information that might be hard to understand and learn. It presents the main ideas on which we have to focus. That means you need not to cram the entire book because you just have to focus on the main points. And in this way, your three main skills are writing, reading, and critical thinking are enhanced. Let me give you a quick example of summary. This is the source that I've taken from my bio book, which says amphibians, which is the animal class of frogs and toads, were the first creatures to crawl from sea and inhabit the earth. Now, how would we create the summary? It's very easy that the first animals to leave the sea and live on land were amphibians. So, take it easy. Now, I'm going to show you a difference between like two children. So, the first picture shows a child who is able to summarize the chapter and is able to learn and he is focusing. Now, the second picture shows a child who is not able to summarize the chapter and he is unable to focus and gets confused. So, I'll tell you that how you can make the concept easier. First, learn from the example. Second, look out for the definition of difficult words. Three, create a mind map. Fourth, break it down. Fifth, prepare notes. Sixth, teach other people. Let me explain them in detail to you. First, learn from the examples. You have a subject called maths and you are unable to learn the concepts and unable to solve the problem. So think that where it is used in our day-to-day -day lives. It is used in building design and architecture, sports performance analysis, 21st century medicine, urban planning, athletic training, electronic music production, quantum physics, fashion design, VR video game design, and automated transportation design. So by now, a child must be clear that how he can solve the problem because if I tell you the truth, maths is used everywhere. Now comes the second point that you should find the definition of difficult words. How? Like, if there is some tough word in the paragraph, so underline it and look out for its definition and you will know its meaning. And never forget to memorize, memorize and memorize. Now comes the third main point, that is using mind maps and visuals, which can help a child to understand the concept easily. The first kind of mind map is a floor chart, which is used to break down the floor, which helps you to learn the concept easily. Then is the infographics, which is one of the best way to represent your data in the form of diagrams, which helps you to learn the concept quickly and clearly. And Minecraft, which is my favorite, encourages any student to read and visualize their imagination. It enhances the creativity and critical thinking and helps you to become a problem solver. The fourth thing is to break it down. Like if you're not able to learn some word like platyhelminthus, 
which is one of the animal class. Break it down like platy, hell, mint, his. That is super easy. The fifth point is to make notes, which is the best way by which you can you can summarize the chapter. And even you can make diagrams so that your own concepts get clearer. Now, sixth point is teach other people, which is the best way by which you can make your own concept clearer because peer learning always helps you to learn more and teach more people. At the same time, I told you, you can make your own concept clearer. And now let me summarize what I have told you. Whenever you are learning your concepts, first start from the easier thing, then medium and then hard. This is the best mantra by which you can learn some tough concepts. So I hope you like this video. Please like this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you everyone.